to mid-April through mid-May love readings. My love readings run from the middle of the month to the middle of the next month because we have these videos here, the career and money readings, as well as your general readings already. And so this kind of keeps you on track as the month goes on. This is for your moon sign. And I know you're like, why? Why not my Venus? Why not my sun? This video right here is gonna tell you exactly why that is. Just trust me, it's gonna resonate more. Um, you'll know why if you watch that video or you know, just trust me, whatever. This month, I'm gonna use a couple different decks and my awesome assistant might kind of edit into the video here what that will, what they look like, okay? And then in the description box below, if you're wondering what that is, there's links there. Um, and if you click on the link and you wanna buy one, I, I'm not selling them, but it's their affiliate links, which is great for me because I have to make money, you know, as well. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, what else? Let's just get started, I guess, then. Um, so the way these love readings work is we're going to look at predictions for singles, couples, and then for those in it's complicated situations. So you might be polyamorous, you might be in an on again, off again relationship. Maybe you're just talking to each other, but you haven't really met yet because of coronavirus. And so you're wondering what that's gonna be like later, you know, when you can see each other, whatever. Um, I'm gonna break it into those three categories and we're gonna look at what the general vibe is this month, what you, um, really want, or at least what you think you want, then what do you actually need? What's going to be the best thing to happen in your love life this month? And then what's the biggest challenge going to be? And then kind of just overall general advice. So let's get started. We're going to start with singles, then move on to couples, and then do, um, for those of you in complicated situations, whether that means you're polyamorous, on again, off again, you're just talking, but it's not committed. Um, we're gonna do those last because sometimes pieces of the single and pieces of the couples will resonate for its complicated situation. So it's not that I love you less, but that's the reason why I do that last. Pisces singles, your love vibe this month is that maybe you wanna change it to a new direction. Maybe you wanna start thinking differently than you have. Maybe you're looking for a certain type of person, or maybe you've completely sworn off dating, or maybe you're you know, dating a specific way and that's not the way that's gonna work for you anymore. Maybe you haven't been open to online dating and now due to coronavirus, that's maybe the only way to meet people and start talking to them in order to actually meet them in person later. Um, but that's the vibe. Okay, it's time to change directions to, um, because when we make changes to something that isn't working, sure, it might not work, but at least now it has the opportunity to, right? Keep changing things up until you get the results that you want. So speaking of what you want, what do you think you want? So you think that you're wanting unhealthy relationships like on a subconscious level or something like that. You think that you're only attracted to people who aren't good for you, but in maintaining and holding on to that belief system, that's what you're gonna keep attracting and then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So maybe that's what you need to change, right? If you say, I'm only going to be attracted to people who are good for me, right? If those are affirmations that you make, speaking of which, um, in the description box below, there's a link to some freebies with affirmations um, that can help you to attract the love that you want. And you don't have to put in your email address or anything like that. Like, um, it's not a trick. You just go get the, the worksheet, okay? Um, there's also a worksheet in there that'll help you attract the right partner. <laughs> um, so you might wanna go grab those. Anyway, that's what's going on here. And so when we change that mindset, then we change our reality and our ability to pull in the love that we want and we're looking for or that we would hope to have, okay? So what is it that you actually need? Um, so what they're saying here is that you need to change. Um, you know, if this were upright, because when it's this way, it's opposite, it would say, stop trying to change other people, that doesn't work, you know, focus on yourself. But it's reversing that energy and it's saying, actually what you need to do is you need to change the way that you're approaching this. You need to change your mindset. The best thing that is going to happen for you in your love life this month is that you can come to this place where you're super emotionally balanced 
um, as to what is driving you, like what you want in relationships, should you follow that previous guidance? But then also what is practical? Um, you can come to this place where you're like super ready to find and build a relationship that works for you very, very well on all levels, like sexually, emotionally, like practically, um, even spiritually, okay? Emotionally, this is something that, this is like a time where you can find something that you can really build upon should you follow that previous guidance. Now, um, that's, that's the good news. If you don't follow the previous guidance, they're like, well, what happens to you in your love life isn't really gonna be as much in your control. And so you're just gonna be out there looking and looking and looking for something that you want in your love life, but then actually have a hard time finding it because we're stuck in a pattern of attracting what doesn't serve us anymore, okay? So what's going to be the biggest challenge for you? And they're just saying, um, getting lucky, you know, coronavirus and whatever. But, you know, actually relying on luck is going to be challenging to find the right partner. You're able to manifest it should you make sure that your head's on straight about how to attract what it is that you want and kind of examining what's in the subconscious and maybe is inhibiting you. Um, but, I mean, if you don't do that work, well, it's going to be extra, <laughs> extra challenging, right? And so... I would also recommend in um, the freebie section of my website, there's a worksheet and it's pink in color and it's how to attract the right person for you. And I have multiple blog posts and things um, that will really help you with that. How to attract the right mate, different things that you can do to speed the process up. I really recommend that for you because it seems like that is kind of the vibe for this month for single Pisces. Um, where this is totally something that you can actually manipulate and control to your advantage should you choose to, but it takes a little bit of work on your part and really knowing what you want and then, um, you know, questioning your own belief systems in order to kind of get you on that really super fast track to finding it because it is within reach. It is around and you can find it, but it doesn't just like fall in your lap by pure luck. It's a co-creation thing instead of just, you know, hey, they showed up. Okay, so um, any other things that they wanna tell us? And they're just like, look, you could get really, really lucky here. Should you follow this advice? Should you follow this guidance? Um, this could be the month that kind of changes your love life for your entire future. Your life can get better um, in so many different ways. You could be introduced to new friends. You could find a new job. Maybe you can quit your job because you find a partner who allows you to stay home and they make more money than you both ever could imagine. I mean, in every area of your life, um, not to say that like a partner comes in and solves all your life problems, right? That's super codependent. And I think it's an unrealistic way to think about relationships and their purpose. However, um, it's almost like when you find this person and you bring them into your life or you start drawing them close and then you find them, it's like your life gets better just kind of anyway almost like they're a good luck charm that they help you manifest these things into your life so anyway awesome for you guys um as far as those of you who are coupled the love vibe for you this month is also to choose a different direction to think about the way that you think about things and to do that and to do them differently okay so what is it that you think that you want well you don't want to be lonely you want to be with your partner right um and you want to not feel alone when you're with your partner. Does that make sense? So some of you might be separated. Maybe you don't cohabitate. Um, those of you that do live together, maybe one of you isn't working, the other one is working a lot, or um, maybe you just kind of feel alone in your home. Maybe they're not understanding and relating to you. That's gonna play out different for everybody in a general reading, okay? But wherever your gut goes, that's what I'm talking about for you specifically. So take it in that context. Um, but what is it that you actually need? Well, you need to stop whining. You need to stop checking in with that person. You need to stop talking about it and all of those things, okay? It is important that you maybe say it once what it is that you need in order to feel what you need to feel and what you expect to feel because they can't read your mind. But you don't want to go on and on and on dropping hints and whining and complaining the message is for you to really just say, I feel as though I want to connect with you in a deeper, more meaningful way today, you know, and, and that should be it. 
you know, and if your partner isn't amenable, well, you know, maybe they come up with a solution like, hey, I'm really busy today, but I promise to prioritize you tomorrow. Is there something you want to do? Having a conversation that way about how you're feeling um, that you need something from them is the way to do it. But you have to you just say it once. If they don't get the message this week, then say it once again next week. But the point is, don't belabor the point because it's going to repel them and push them away. Here's the thing. Some of you are speaking a different love language than your partner is. And so they don't even understand that this is an issue. Okay, they're having a hard time understanding that maybe the way they're showing you love, you're not receiving it that way. Maybe they think that they're giving you plenty of attention. Like a good example would be if you're familiar with the five love languages. It's actually an excellent book to read because it takes like five minutes, but it kind of changes the way you think about a lot of things and helps a lot of relationships grow. Um, I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to find it on Audible or Amazon or Barnes and Noble or wherever the fuck, just so you know what it looks like. Um, you could also just Google it. But point is that um, sometimes our partner thinks that they're giving us what we need by just being next to us watching TV, okay? But if your love language requires that they give you undivided attention, you might still feel alone in that space and they might not understand that, okay? And so I guess that would be something important to kind of identify and look at. Um, so what's going to be the best thing that happens in your relationship this month? And they're like, that you're very much in your feelings, but you're able to kind of identify and sort them and put them into kind of concise requests, um, which helps grow your relationship and helps you to feel deeper. Also, um, by doing so, you're going to have a spicier sex life. Um, it might be more adventurous. It might be more often. Um, maybe you just feel particularly more horny and attracted or your partner does this month, but regardless, it has a positive impact for you that way. But it is a choice that you make. You have to tell them exactly what it is that you want and how you wanna feel and give them instructions on how to make you feel that way. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but I think they want to listen. I think they want to make sure that you're happy. So that is really good news. It's just making sure we get the message across very clearly in a way that they understand. So what's going to be the biggest challenge then? Um, you know, not holding on to the status quo and the way you've always done things, being able to walk away from old mindsets and old ways of doing things, and maybe even old expectations. It's not easy because we've been living with those for a long ass time, right? Um, but they're not working for you anymore, or they're not working as good as these new ones you would adopt would. Okay, so if you're in a complicated situation, what's your love vibe for this month? Um, well, you don't really have any choices, any options. Like what's happening is happening and not because you want it to go that way. And it doesn't mean that bad things are happening. It's just like you don't get to make a lot of decisions right now. Things are the way that they are, they are and it's not within your control. So what is it that you think you want? Well, you think you want to really be patient and kind of like accept that everything happens in divine order, in divine time. But is that actually what you want? They're like, well... If it's so challenging to do that, it's maybe like not natural for you, but you want it because you know that maybe it'll be worth it. The thing is though, is the struggle with that is making it harder for you to show love to whoever else is involved in this complicated situation. And then that bums you out and it bums them out. And then everybody's kind of walking around with a crabby ass mood. So what is it that you actually need instead of um, patience, because I mean, having patience would be great, right? But if it's creating an internal struggle that kind of makes relationships less loving um, and creates strain and problems, then let's focus instead on what it is that we need. Um, and they're like, we need to not be thinking about things like work, finances, whatever, when we're coming to the relationship or conversations with whoever is involved here. It seems like that's a good way to kind of lower the vibe. Like if I'm not working, I might be stressed about that. I might dump that stress on the other person, kills the vibe, kills the mood. Um, or conversely, maybe I'm working a lot and you know it's really stressful or it's scary or it's annoying or maybe it's wonderful, but 
it you know it takes time away from this complicated situation regardless um i would make an effort to try not to talk about it with your partner or partners or you know this person you're talking to whatever your situation is um just because it seems like it has some sort of detrimental effect that it not where like it's catastrophically detrimental but it just doesn't make things good it kind of lowers the quality of your interactions okay so um is there any big awesome good news for you like what's the best thing that's going to happen and they're like okay for those of you who are feeling hopeless about this situation the best thing that happens is that it helps you to focus in on what it is that you really want now the thing is is you're not necessarily manifesting it though and i think it was pisces singles that i said should um go to the freebies page on my website you don't have to download um, you can just like download this worksheet that helps you manifest what you want, helps you to identify and focus in on that. Um, you don't have to put in an email address or anything like I'm not going to spam you. You just go get it and you use it because um, like obviously I read tarot to help people. Um, so anyway, I think that's the benefit if you're feeling hopeless in this situation. Now, if you're feeling positive about the situation, they're like, let's go back to what I was saying regarding singles like and I think couples, they both had to change the way that they thought about things. They're like, you might just be attracted to toxic ass shit. Maybe you're trapped in a cycle that you think is good or that you think is fixable or workable and it probably isn't, you know, and you're just gonna be there and things are gonna be good sometimes and they're gonna be shitty other times and you're gonna stay there until you're forced to change your mind. So you can elect to change your mind now, right? of your own free will and save yourself a lot of chaos and headache and maybe even like a drinking problem or not up to you. Um, now this is a general reading. So, I mean, I maybe like 12% of you maximum that won't apply to, but the majority of you, that's the case. Okay. So what's the biggest challenge? And they're like, not telling the truth like either omitting things, not talking about things, not, you know, feeling like you're not being heard. Um, but also it's kind of like lies, even if they are lies of omission. And this is a choice that both you and the other parties, party and parties um, could be making at this time. And so I think that's why it's really important to say like, is this something that's worth just like chucking aside? Or if it's not, how do we make this better? You know, what parts of this aren't working? How do we change that? How do we get our head around how to do this differently? And what do I actually really truly want? Because if I don't know what I want, I can't really make that reality, right? So I will see you next month. I love you so much.